from the golden voice to a moment with steel at one of the country's largest steel foundries at Letchworth near London. The steel scrap and pig iron has been cut into lengths and furnished and now the molten metal is poured into ladles containing a quantity of sodium carbonate for removing the sulphur. The sulphur slag is skimmed off and the metal then poured into three ton converters. Lumps of ferrosilicon are thrown in to help raise the temperature and unwanted components are removed by blowing air into the surface. Skilled and experienced eyes watch the gradual diminishing of the flame, which means that the conversion process is nearing completion. When it's finished, the converters will contain an almost chemically pure iron. In some ways, steel making is like cooking. For next comes the mixing of finely calculated amounts of carbon, silicon and manganese alloys to produce the high quality steel for which Britain is world famous. In making a railway wheel, sand is jolted close to the pattern and long nails are put in to strengthen the mould and prevent the sand from being washed away when the molten steel is poured in. After being baked for 10 hours to harden them, the moulds are filled with white hot metal. When filled, a further supply is poured in through a special reservoir as a safeguard against rapid shrinking. The bending test is one of several. Here you see a bar being subjected to hydraulic pressure to test the ability of the steel to withstand heavy stresses. The specimen must pass this test without any sign of fracture. 200 bend tests alone are made at this foundry every week and the accuracy of the machine is verified by the Board of Trade. Here they are following their natural bent. Now we come to the fettling shop where a pneumatic chisel is seen at work on a locomotive wheel. Here again the skill of the workman is very much in evidence. And these are the swing grinders which might have inspired swing music. Their purpose is to smooth away any irregularities. Your steel casting, sir, is almost ready. Finally, to that famous variety and radio impersonator, Clifford Stanton. <laughs>